All right, hey guys, you're here with Nitra, and in this video, I'm gonna do a flip through of the Tim Holtz Small Folio. Um, all of the products that I am using, I received as part of a, the design team for the rubberbuggy.com. So um, I will link products down below. And the folio is my first time getting one or even seeing one. And I'm so the small one is actually a nice size and it's uh, pretty inexpensive. It's just a cardboard cover and then it has um, like, an, uh, like an accordion fold kind of thing on the inside. Um, so I'll show you. Uh, so on the outside cover I used a mixture of products. So this piece of paper here in the back comes from the Julie Nutting French Market paper pack. Um, this is from the Wild and Free 4x6 journaling card from or by Prima. Uh, this little piece is from the Love Clippings journaling card set also by Prima. And then these die cuts are from this Tim Holtz um, Botanical Ephemera Pack. And sorry about the glare, but it is jam packed. Um, I use so many of these pieces and as you can see I still have a lot left there's 83 pieces in this I think this is currently sold out at the rubber buggy so I will try to find it and link it somewhere below um, and if I still can't find it I would suggest um, just sending the rubber buggy a message and let them know that you want more of those um, so I put some keys on the outside I don't remember where these keys come from or this piece I've had this piece in my stash for a really long time so um, I think it might have even come from like a swap um, so yeah I've had it for a really long time okay so it opens up like this um, this piece here the script piece is from the Julie Nutting French Market collection and here is uh, so I did this folio I used instead of using pictures I used my favorite Bible scriptures because I'm gonna give this as a gift and so this pink polka dot paste piece is from the Julie Nutting French Market collection um, this right here is cut from the uh, Wild and Free paper collection um, as well as these other little pieces behind it and I printed out um, Psalms 23 um, for the first cover uh, for the first piece there and then here I used a, a love clippings journaling card and I layered flowers um, this heart is from the rose quartz journaling cards I just cut the heart out and more um, wild and free journaling cards um, I also use the Wild and Free Ephemera Pack. And here's a piece from the Tim Holtz um, Ephemera. Um, this is Job 37 and 14. Just in case you, anybody wants to look it up. Um, I made this butterfly using a Prima flower dye. If I, It might still be in stock. I'm going to um, link that below. Um... So here's this and then here I put this butterfly here but I cut it in half and then this is Jeremiah 29 and 11 here's one of the birds from the Tim Holtz um, ephemera pack as well as that butterfly and then here's a journaling card Um, and here is um, Matthew 21 and 22. I really like this one. I just really wanted to use this um, black and white ephemera piece. There's a, quite a few pieces that are like black and white and I really like the way those look. So, um, here are more drawing cards. Oh, excuse me allergies um, this is Psalms 139 and 14 and then this oh happy day comes from the love clippings journaling card set um, here's another one that's black and white ones I really like those ones and this cute bird um, here's another piece here on this flap I actually put down some of the um, design paper from the wild and free collection because it was 
pretty it's a lot bigger than the other flaps um, so the flap piece comes separately and you uh, glue it in it's sewn I don't know if you can see the stitching it's sewn okay and then this is Deuteronomy 31 and 6 If you guys want to see still pictures, because this video is a little shaky, I know I'm holding the camera. Um, they are posted on the Rubber Buggy blog, so I'm going to link that down below. Um, and so this is the um, like the back of it, it's like the bottom back page. And so I put this a flower here, a, little, a few flowers, and then this is Isaiah 43 and 2. It's one of my favorite scriptures, um, so you guys can look them up. If you want to make something like this for someone, uh, these are um, really uplifting scriptures. So um, I think anyone would like would love something like this. Uh, just an easy gift to give, and you don't have to spend, you know, any money on gifts. You can just use whatever craft supplies you have. And of course, if you don't have the folio, it's a great. Um, it's really expensive. It's like less than four bucks so great price okay and then I'm not trying to sell you on it I just think it's a great deal <laughs> I actually have two of these um, so yeah here's this long uh, this really tall flower in the back and more of the wild and free paper here um, so that's the folio I like the way the pages just flip down um, I tried to make sure that even though this page was closed there were still things to see at the top and at the bottom so I kind of went back and added these flowers so that they could like hang off. See how it's not all the way here down. And so there you have it. I will um actually you guys I can just insert pictures at the end of this video. That's what I'll do. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even think about that when I was saying it earlier. But anyway, um, I hope you like this project. I hope it gives you guys some ideas. Um, even if you don't have the folio, this is a great alternative to um, adding photos in like a mini album. You could do this um, in a mini album style and still have a great gift to give. I'm very thoughtful. So, yep, thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.